No, how did God appear to Moses? How did God appear to Moses? In the yeah. Quran or in the Bible? In, in the Quran tradition, not the Bible tradition. Yeah. Not the biblical tradition. Allah yeah. did not appear to anyone. How, how did he get the Ten Commandments? He communicated through an angel. Yeah. Because we believe that God appeared in the Bible. That's why I asked you, based on the Quran or your Bible? Yes. yes? We, appeared, we believe he came in a, in a burning bush. He, he who God came yes. in a burning bush? Yes. Wow. Yes, that's so that's God true. is fire? Yes. Yes. I thought the devil was connected with the fire, not God. No, God became, God became a burning bush. Yes. God became a burning yes. bush? Wow. Yes. That's, a, that's, that's a new one? Yes, he changes nature. That's what we believe. But the Bible says God doesn't change his nature. Not, in, not, in, not, not anywhere in the Bible. Malachi 3.6, open it and read. The Bible's got, start the left. The Bible's got contradictions. <laughs> you say God does not take forms in the Old Testament, which the Jews also believe. The Jewish people believe. What do they believe? The Old Testament. Yeah, what about it? What about, what about the Old Testament? They believe that, jo that Moses came in the burning bush as well. That's what the Jews believe. No, they don't believe jo God literally was in the burning bush. Yeah, in fact, we have this ayah in the Quran as well. There's a conversation yes? with God in the bush. Oh, where, where, where even, even Moses was meditating by himself yeah. and the bush caught fire and said, I am God. And then he became... Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. That's, that is have, you, have you ever had a conversation with your mother on the phone? Oh, yes. Yes? yes. When your mom calls you and she says to you, yes, that I am your mother. Yes. Is your mother in the phone? No, I was not in the phone. So, so why? Wait, 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 wait a minute, Richard. Richard. Exactly. Yes. So, so, so why? Why? If, if your mother is able to communicate with you yes. on the phone without being in the phone, yes. why do you think God is unable to communicate with Moses through without being inside the burning bush? So, but it came. The voice came through the bush. Yeah, right? just like your mother's voice comes from the phone. Okay, that's that's that's. You feel what I mean? That's how you. That's how you do it. Okay. That's how I do it. That's logical. The Old Testament was written by Moses, according to our... our written books. by Moses? Yes, written by Moses. Are you sure? Yes. Because in Deuteronomy, it talks about his uh, yeah. funeral. Yeah, it's written by Moses. How can a dead man write about his funeral? It's written by Moses. You know what Jesus taught about the only true God? Do you know that? What do you say? Go read John 17, 3. He says, this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God. So Jesus himself is claiming that the only true God is the Father, not Jesus. Jesus says the only true God is a Father, you're saying is a Trinity. Now obviously there's a difference between a Unitarian and a Trinitarian. Jesus was a Unitarian. That means he worshipped one true God, the only true God, who according to him is one person. Not three persons like the way you do. Well, so you I'm by a Trinitarian. No, by that yeah, exactly. By I'm that a, definition, a by that definition, yes. you are not a Unitarian, but a Trinitarian. Yeah, I am. I now, who, that now, yes. now Jesus who is a perfect role model for mankind, yes. like you said, is he a Unitarian? Yes, in my, in my opinion. Alhamdulillah. You see, yeah. that should settle it then. Yeah. Jesus is Unitarian, you are a Trinitarian. Why should I believe you? 